Hello friends, welcome back to another episode of Gloomhaven, the Guildmaster campaign. Now this is going to be kind of a bonus episode uh, off of my normal Tuesday, Thursday morning or uh, afternoon, depending on where you are, uh, posts. And because it's going to be a bonus episode, um, mostly because I just want to be playing this again I feel like when I take too much time away, just a couple days away, I miss it too much. So, I'm making this bonus episode. And because it's a bonus episode, uh, we'll be using three new mercenaries that I haven't used on the campaign yet. I have used these mercenaries before, uh, both in the sense that um, uh, in the physical board game and on my own testing campaign, and I have actually used them to uh, try out a scenario with the three of them in this campaign as they started. And it went pretty bad. Uh, I want to try this again. I think there's, I think they can work together fine. I think any mercenaries can work together per, um, uh, in a kind of a balanced way. Uh, some are more overpowered, of course some pairings but uh, so I'll just jump in here and show you who I'm who I'll be working with and as you can see there are some each each character has some XP uh, I think six or seven XP and that's because as I said I played a scenario I wanted to see how well they did I recorded it actually and it just went so poorly um, that I decided to scrap it all and start over uh, with the video, with the recording. So we're going to be trying two new uh, mercenaries, two lock, uh, unlockable mercenaries. First being the Berserker, uh, which will be paired with the Scoundrel. And third is the Soothsinger. Now I have bought some items for them. And uh, we'll go through here. We have the small item potion for uh, major healing potion for the berserker they're going to be taking a lot of damage uh, both through attacks and um, indirectly as that's one of her abilities is to take damage to become stronger the scoundrel comes with uh, two items already the body armor of leather armor which is going to be nice uh, a two disadvantage attacks the first two attacks on her will be disadvantage and a minor stamina potion and finally the sooth singer i gave her a minor stamina potion as well um as i said i i want this to work i want to see another scenario if this doesn't go as well um again or if it if it just doesn't go very well then maybe i'll break them up into the future um but I kind of want to have two different, uh, or perhaps a third, uh, different mercenary band playing simultaneously instead of you guys seeing, uh, you know, the same three characters over and over again. I know that Andy and I have played as the Savas uh, duo, and that has been loads of fun as well. Um, but I just, I wanted to get kind of a another mercenary band going and I think these three can be uh, can work well together um, it's just a matter of getting them leveled and making sure that they have some more items so with that there are uh, a lot of things that I have not uh, claimed yet from the uh, from the previous I guess the the normal scenarios and I'll do that now. Uh, we do have 10 cultists. I think this was actually from my last uh, scenario, failed scenario. We'll gain some extra money there. That's not, not bad. Uh, we do have the disarm enhancement available to us now. I think this one was the other one that was unlocked in the last scenario, uh, my failed scenario. The um, the Soothsinger was also unlocked 
but I've already done that. And the uh, Reach the Sloshed Squirrel is what we had unlocked with our normal uh, mercenary band. So we can now gain an extra enhancement, but we don't have the money for that at the moment anyway. And we've unlocked chapter 3.1. I was doing some important business in the Slosh Squirrel, and I heard some worrying news from the patrons. It seems travelers to Ember Hill have been going missing, and the whole town is in lockdown. Probably worth our while invest uh, worth our while going to check it out and see if we can help or err make some money. All right. We have some extra things here that are unlocked because of that. Yep. And the other exclamation point here is disarm is now available. I think there might be another one that was available before, but um, yeah. So uh, I'm not going to be changing any of the cards as kind of my per usual move of bringing in a new uh, mercenary. And I think that the items that I have so far are probably enough. We don't really have a lot of options at the moment, which is something that we really need to work on. Um, and uh, let's see, this one is now unlocked because of that uh, uh, three, chapter 3.1. So we're looking at city archers and city guards two new enemies that we haven't seen yet but we're not going in that direction we will be going in this direction with lockdown and low town uh, i did attempt this one this was the failed attempt um and it was it was not very fun uh with three level one characters the amount of um I kind of got overwhelmed by the cultists bringing in the living bones and those terrible bone rangers. Uh, I just ended up complaining about them quite a bit. So we're, we'll do this with our normal band. Um, and I feel like this is probably going to be a better uh, pairing for us, for the three of us. And I think what I might do on top of that is I'm gonna I'm going to lower the difficulty back to normal just so that I can get a better grasp of how well they work together I never had this pairing before um, I don't even think I had two of these three um, on the board at the same time when I did the when I did my normal campaign of the board game so I want to see how well these three work together so I guess call this a, a bonus episode where we're testing a new group of mercenaries and lowering the difficulty is just going to help my sanity a little bit. So we're looking at forest imps, both normal and elite, some hounds and vermling scouts, again, normal and elite. Um, and then the hooked chain design. I'm not sure who that would be good for. Anyone with ranged attack, of course, but uh, it does take up two hand slots. So we'll see We'll see if that comes in handy for, uh, or see who that comes in handy for. All right, so let's jump on in. Apparently the whole forest is infested with imps and reports from Low Town are that they are now in league with Vermling. The town needs Re reliving? Relieving? Relieving. <laughs> Jeez. The town needs relieving. Okay. I think I would have said needs relief. But... Alright. As soon as you leave the outskirts of Demon Spine, the light of the forest again becomes somewhat otherworldly, and the normal sounds of insects and wildlife cease. The magically inclined amongst your party notice the feeling of a buildup of earthly energy, a throbbing power that 
which pulses at their temples. I would only assume that the bard is the only one that could be the one sensing this, but they're still not magically inclined. So, um, it seems the vermlings and imps have somehow discovered a way to harness the elements. Uh-oh. Hmm. So it says here, kill all enemies in all rooms. Special rules are at the start of each round, the earth element is set to strong. It's not going to help any of us. And I'm not sure if it's going to help any of them either. Uh, this one would be fantastic for the Savas duo, um, but we will check it out as is, so. All right, let's jump in. Yeah, I'm hoping that this scenario goes a little more smoothly than uh, smoother than the one that I did previously. Uh, I basically had to just quit that one. Uh, two of the mercenaries died, and I hadn't even made it to the second room yet. So that, that one was just awful. An awful experience. Um, I'm all for losing. I'm not against losing. That's not the part that, that frustrated me. Um, it was a, a combination of a lot of things, anyway. So, anyway. You find the source of the power. A number of ancient stones with the imps and vermling shaman are using in a ritual. This will surely end very badly for Lowtown if you don't drive the imps away. Earth magic is strong here and will always be available at the start of the turn. Use this to your advantage. Yeah, well, that's unfortunate. Right. So we have, looks like a quite a bit of a hallway into a small room in the back there and kind of a medium-sized room at the beginning. Uh, well, one thing for sure, we do not want to put the Soothsinger up in the front. I think... Okay. We have quite a bit of enemies in here. One, two, three normal imps, forest imps, and one elite forest imp. Then we have one, t uh, sorry, one, two normal firmling scouts and then two elite firmling scouts. So this is going to be, it's not a lot of uh, hit points here and they don't produce a lot of damage. They can be damaging, but um, not too scared about the incoming damage from them, so. Uh, what we can do here is Oops. Uh, so the Soothsinger is going to be more of a controller. They, he, she can produce some damage, but I'm going to use her more for control than for damage. She's also very good at producing or playing songs. Uh, which works semi uh, in a similar way to the Mind Thief's Augments, in which she will play the song basically every round. Um, although she does gain an XP every round for that, which is pretty nice. Um, but they impact the allies instead of her. Whereas the Augments, the Mind Thief's Augments, impact her instead of the. Um, allies so we could do something like shield one affect all allies and then they will have one shield until i either discard that song or start playing a new song and let's see maybe i could i could use singing arrow to attack Let's see, maybe if I put her here, actually, she could attack one of these with the singing arrow and hope that 
uh, they don't heal before before that uh, wound kills it. So let's see about. I think for her, for the scoundrel, we want to be going a little later. So let's go with the um, uh, berserker here first. Now the retaliate could be pretty interesting if we say put her right here. And then if, if they do a normal attack against her, it probably wouldn't be too much. And then she could uh, retaliate each uh, with each of them. So let's, let's go with that. Um, I haven't seen any traps. Okay, there's a trap back here, but that's a little too far for us. It's only going to be useful if we can get the vermlings in there. Hmm. Well, we could go with this and this. And if that's the case, no, we'll stick with her. Uh, we'll move two and then retaliate one and then retaliate two. So in that case, it would start killing these off. Uh, immediately now if that's not the case if they do a ranged attack or something then um, maybe we can just do an attack a normal attack with this instead we'll see but I I don't really want to use both of her early cards as the problem so Instead of that, let's go with this one. We'll just move, uh, do a normal move with this. Uh, this only works if the current hit point value is less than half of the maximum. So it would have to be less than five. Um, it's pretty dangerous for her at the beginning, but once she gets more and more hit points, um, it's not, it, it's still worrisome, but it's not as bad. So at the beginning, we need to keep an eye on her. We need to really manage her, um, her hit points. Next, we want to be going later. Let's go right after 14 if we can. How about we move up and poison? Let's see. Move up and poison somebody and then just form an attack. The problem is that it'd be nice if we could get an attack on somebody maybe this one so let's let's see about that um, or we could use this too hmm this would probably be a, pr a, a good idea honestly yeah let's go with that we'll move up poison somebody and then we can actually just try hurting uh, a couple others. So, all right, I think that's what we're gonna go with. Let's see if it works. So an innate ability for the forest imp, at least for the elite forest imp, is that they curse. Now I'm not sure if I could be wrong. Yeah, so at level one, they don't. So this curse is actually coming with the ability card that they're pulling. Uh, the verblings are not going to be moving and that looks kind of annoying to be taking that much that many attacks even though it might be killing a couple of them we'll we'll see about planning that one out a little better okay but well, we definitely want to be um, playing the defensive ditty. And let's use this to wound and attack this back one here. Ah, we just dealt one damage, that would have been enough, or a plus one that is. 
Uh, I don't think we're going to be pulling this card right away. I'd like to be doing something like this curse, this AOE curse is really nice. Uh, but I think I have a better idea of what I can do with um, on my next turn. So I'll leave this for now, and maybe we'll take it back uh, later. Hmm. So I'm, I'm wondering what I should do. I don't. I'm not too excited about moving here at this moment. Um, what I could do actually is move here instead. And yeah, let's do that, and then I will uh, just end up punching. And I, I should maybe be able to deal with that with her. We will see. So let's move up. We want to move three. Yeah, they're going to be moving anyway. They probably won't be dealing a lot of damage, but this is a lot of curses that uh, they'll be putting out. Target two for each of them. That's eight curses. It's unfortunate. Herb action, we're just gonna heal. And then defiance of death. Add plus two and gain one if your current hit point, right. So. This is an attack two, uh, attack three, sorry. Oh man, I could attack here instead. Yeah, let's, let's continue with my initial thought there. That's good. That's really good, actually. Don't worry about that. And let's go for a couple of these attacks. If I can get a plus one here, that would be fantastic. All right, that one's dead. Oh, some zero damage there. And I think what I'm gonna do is make sure that she is taking the, uh, but if she takes that amount of hits, she could actually die, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Um, yeah let's let's kind of split up a little bit i think they're going to be going after her quite a bit because of the um ah but we want to poison somebody don't we yeah so we'll just move here and 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 poison this guy. uh we won't do that yet so yeah, three damage because of that. And then zero there. That's nice. These other ones are pretty much just going to be attacking these two, but we're not going to be taking much damage. The problem here is the amount of... Um, uh, the amount of curses that are being put in our decks. And that's just going to be absolutely annoying. <laughs> uh, I think... Yeah, they're not going to do anything. Let's see here. Four curses for the Berserker. One for the Soothsinger, and then I guess three for her, for the Scoundrel. That's just, that's just going to be absolutely annoying. But... We're going to have to uh, power through that. Let's see. We could strengthen, actually. This is a good idea. So we can move up to strengthen them, and maybe we'll be removing some of those. That would be, oof, that would be amazing. Let's also use disarm to make sure that a couple of these guys don't attack. Maybe one of these, uh, this grouping or the grouping over here, we'll see. Uh, since we are up in their face, we want to be going early with her. And what I could do 
is something like this, pull it so that it's in a position next to an adjacent or adjacent to an ally, and then you single out to uh, do an attack of five, basically. So three plus two because they're adjacent to an ally. So I think that one is pretty straightforward. Next might be this one. We can move, put ourselves in a position to retaliate a little bit. And, hmm. Let's get some more wounds out, actually. Uh, if we can continue to wound these uh, pixies or these imps, then it would be to our benefit. It would kill them a little faster. So let's do that. Um, and let's see what they do. Okay, so they are going to be attacking the... Firmling scouts are going to be doing a uh, performing a ranged attack against two targets. So as long as we're standing next to them, that shouldn't be a lot of damage. Um, and the imps are going to be attacking for three and two at ranged. So these might be the target for our uh, disarm. Try and get the imps to to uh, disarm. Um, okay. All right. So, sorry about that. I had to pause for a minute, but I'm thinking that if I stand next to, I was hoping I could get to this position. That's just not possible. Um, I only have two movement. So I think what I'm going to do is just move right here where this money is and retaliate against this one. It's not going to produce a whole lot of damage, but um, it will it will at least produce something, <laughs> anything at this point. So let's move up to here. We'll skip that movement, but to confirm the action. And now, um, I'm remembering that I wanted to be strengthened <laughs> for my attacks and now I'm going before her anyway so this might be unfortunate but we'll be attacking you and attacking you and that way we can lay down some um, wounds on these uh, the forest imps here they don't have a lot of health so if I get a plus one, um, if I get anything here, this one will die. So we'll we'll see how far we can do with that. Now there's one curse. Uh, that's fine as long as I'm getting these wounds here. Hey, uh, a minus one. That's too bad. Well, anyway, it's the end of her turn. Uh, next is going to be. We're going to pull her to this position here. Yep. And I'm hoping for, I mean, anything except for that first. Okay. That's okay. Uh, we're getting a little close here. What would be, is there a good card that we want to bring back? I, I could bring this one back. I think I'm fine with what I have at the moment, so we'll wait on using that stamina potion. And here's the unfortunate part. Um, it's kind of really unfortunate, actually, now that I think about it. Well, they're not going to be attacking for a whole lot. Hmm. The thing is, is if I get close, if I go here and actually use this, then I'm going to be attacked. Which ones do I want to be attacked by? All three of these or these? Or do I just want to stand right where I am and give strength into her instead? I think that might be what I go for, honestly. 
that will reduce the chances of her getting attacked anyway. So we're going to skip. It's unfortunate, but um, if she had full health, then I would probably go for it. Now, do I want to bring any of these? I mean, I could bring this back for another wound. Um, but I think I'm fine. I'm still fine with what I've got. Ah, right, the disarm. I could have disarmed over here. And that would have reduced my worries. Um... Let's see, what I, I think what I'm going to have to do is disarm these two, which is too bad because this one's actually, oh man, that is not what I wanted to do. I forgot about this disarm. Yeah, because if I disarm these two, it's only going to work for this one, and then that one just... I won't have to worry about it all. And that's the only one that I could do back there. That's going to attack two for one. So this is really unfortunate. I'm just going to disarm this one. I don't see it being useful to disarm any of the other ones. Um, we are going to use this immediately, and I'm going to take Throw Voice again. Try and use that in a better way the next round. Ah, that's annoying. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll take that, I guess. That one's dead now. We don't have to worry about these two at this point, so... One damage is okay. Well, they drew that null. That's nice. <laughs> Zero times two. Zero plus one, that's nothing. We did get that retaliate there, but... So yeah, that's... I mean... I think only three damage right here is all that happened, but... Which is fine. I'm completely fine with that. One, two, three. Let's go with... Let's wait with her. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I mean, that would be a good one to play. Let's use, where did it go now? Here we go. To go really early, we can muddle everybody, basically everyone, not this one back here, but that's fine. And we can go for throw voice again, or we can strengthen all allies. Now, if we do that, we could do that actually strengthen all allies and let's do that let's we'll use call to action to strengthen both of them again and we're going to try and get rid of these cards let's make sure she uses that first so go ahead make your attack first with that strengthen and then hmm, we'll go quick hands and we'll just loot it up um, yeah, do something like that. That way she'll use the strengthen, be strengthened again, and then uh, back to the Berserker will be strengthened as long as she goes after five, which that's obvious. Um, and I think what I want to do is, where did that heal? Ferocious aid to heal back up to full health. I know I don't really want her to be at full health, um, but maybe what we can do is heal her instead. Maybe. And... Hmm.
We could do this one to start bringing our health down a little bit. Let's see. Let's see about that. Uh, we don't really need to add the stun, and maybe we will. I think I will anyway. But I just want to to start bringing that health down a little bit, as I'm saying. So, uh, these this is a reason to not like the imps. But both of those ones will die anyway, uh, because their wound takes a effect before the their actions. And then they're going to finally move and perform an attack, a small attack. So before you, you get the chance, we actually have two going before five, that's nice. Uh, before you get that chance to, to heal, we will attack and kill you. Pick that money up, good. I could... I probably should take another card. I think I'm fine at the moment, but let's take these throwing knives back, actually. That way I can start doing some damage to these guys. Stand your turn. Um, we're going to strengthen all of the allies. And then muddle everybody else. This is actually funny. This is kind of an action that the imps do. Um, muddle all enemies within range 2. And then strengthen all allies within range 2. So it's kind of like a forest imp in that respect. Both of them just perished. It's lovely. And let's... Let's take the two damage. Yeah, let's do it. Actually, you know what? Let's let's not. We're about to take some damage. I think we're going to be fine. Whoops. Yeah, I think we're going no, undo everything. Just going to attack this one as is. That's going to be enough. And we are going to use this to heal up our, um, there it goes, the Soothsinger. That way I'm not as afraid of her dying immediately. So we do have two incoming attacks here. One of them is going to be muddled, that's good. And the other one. Zero times two, look at that. Oh, sorry. It was one times two. We'll take that one damage. Okay, so finally they've moved up to us. We can deal with them. Um, we do have quite a bit of money laying around. Two here, two here, two back there. I think in there somewhere. Yep, right there. Let's use her to uh, throwing knives, attacking both of them, and let's use let's use this to just continue moving along our way here. Um, I'm gonna keep disarm to make sure that I can use that in here because I don't think. We're going to take a, a rest uh, before opening that door. I'm, I might change my mind, we'll see. Um, we can use this either to move somebody or move ourselves. And, ooh, let's use that one. We can also bless, we can start adding some, some blesses instead of curses. Uh, to our deck as well to counter, counter, counter some of that. If that's the case, let's use this instead. We'll go. We'll go late. Oop, one more. Um, okay. I think what I want to do here is. Let's do both of these. What we're going to do is suffer 
damage equal to half your current hit point value rounded up and then this move if you have fewer hit points than half of your maximum which we will and then we can attack And if it looks too bad, we can just heal up after. No, oh, did we not? I guess I didn't click on that. Let's see what they do. Yeah, not they're not attacking for very much, so that's good. Um, let's make let's perform these attacks. We do have advantage still, so that's nice. There we go. We're actually going to kill them both probably. Oh, oh I thought that one was the normal. And we will continue moving, picking up some more money. Oh. That's one damage. Um, affect all adjacent allies. Of course, I moved them away from each other. Another thing I could do is just move to somewhere like this and curse start cursing them as well but i think i think instead i'm just going to move up to here and bless um the berserker So we can't perform this one because we don't have fewer hit points than half. We have half, exactly. Uh, I will want to do this one. Let's... <laughs> There's the curse. One of them. Alright. And now we'll move a little bit. Skip. And then attack here. I almost wanted to see the other curse. Just get rid of them out of my hand. Uh, at this time, I might heal. Let's see how early we can go. We do have this healing card, which might be better. Let's not. Let's not. I think what I'm going to do here is go really early. And it looks like we will be um, performing that long rest before we leave anyway. And that's fine. Yikes. Well, we don't have to worry about that. It'll be dead. So we'll move. I say let's move here. I guess it doesn't really matter. We're going to have to either go around this or around that. So skip and then attack here Good. another one dead let's see how many she still has three curses left um, whereas she has two more left and she also has a blessing or a bless um, I think instead of healing I was thinking of using this, but I'm going to be taking a long rest anyway. So let's just move up to here. And we're going to skip that. Um, and I will use the healing potion now. We'll take a long rest and she'll be completely healed up, so. Now I could, I could move just a couple with her and then move her right in. We already know that they're going to go last. Um, so if they're going to go last, then we don't really need to worry about what they're going to do. And we could try and disarm some of the imps if they're in there. Um, my problem with this is that we have uh, no cards left and we'll probably end up just taking a long rest anyway so 
I think what I'm going to do is just pick up some of this money. Uh, that would have been better, but oh well. Skip the rest of that movement and then skip that action. So long rest. And I think I'm going to discard this first. So that I can get it get it back into my hand rather than um, having it sit up there. Uh, basically, I can play it again, um, and that would take up half of my turn instead of having it just sit up there for the entire, um, not semester, what's it called? Round or scenario. There we go. Uh, perform long rest, healing. That's nice. And I think uh, this one is going to be a good one for the end of the scenario because it depends on how many burned cards I have. That's a really good one. Uh, I could see getting rid of this one, but I kind of like, I'd like to have that one a little bit longer. Don't want to get rid of either of those. This one could be nice, could be the one I get rid of, but it's kind of nice to play. We want that, we want that. So unfortunately, I think what I'm going to do, hmm. Because of, where is it? Okay, there we go. Because the enemies don't have a lot of health, I don't need to be taking damage in order to, to deal extra damage, is, the, is my thought behind that. This one might be the one I was, I was thinking of because it's, it's one of the later ones, but it's kind of nice to have a late card for her. Uh, this is kind of for that same reason I don't I don't think I'll be in the position to actually see them by themselves uh, see them um, encounter them by themselves in order to use that bottom action but I want to have the a late card and that top action is really nice quick hands is probably the one I'm going to go with um, or no, this one, disarm trap. I probably won't be caring too much about that. A bottom action is really nice, don't get me wrong. A bottom attack action is really nice, but ooh, yeah, it is really nice. And I think in that respect, I'm going to keep it so that I can use it with quick hands. I think I, I want to do something like attack, move, and attack, something like that. Uh, can't get rid of that. Or that or that or that okay let's get rid of Oof. let's get rid of venom shiv i have plenty of movement the plus the attack three with poison the poison would be helpful if they had a lot of health i'm not too worried about that I think there are going to be some hounds in here somewhere, so I might uh, I might regret that. But ah, one more. Okay. Um. Okay. We're gonna go with that one. I'm not going to put her in a position to attack. Uh, she could move up basically really late in one round and then attack and walk away, but um, I don't think that's going to be what I do with her. The, the bottom action is kind of nice, but um, again, there, I don't I don't think that's necessary. So we're going to continue with that, or we could do Song of Move, or Song of Speed. It's going to help movement and range so that they can get in there. The defensive ditty is just too good for me to miss. Or we can add attack to all of them. So basically, the cards that I got rid of for, for uh, or the card I got rid of for Berserker can kind of be replaced by this one without her taking that damage. So, but I think what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go 19. 
Because I want to see them both in here before we... Um, Uh, before her turn and then we can kind of have a uh, have her come in and strengthen them for the next round so if that's the case then we want to be going in a little late or probably her um, the berserker going in first let's do that we want for that You know what? This is what we're going to do. We are going to do this combination. Move in with retaliate and then uh, retaliate. That's It's going to be good. And if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. So be it. Um, that means... I could go in with throwing knives again. But I'd like to be going after after 14 and before 19 that's not going to happen uh, so it looks like she's going in first I don't really like this idea um, throwing knives and then some movement one two three four I'm gonna need at least four I guess we're gonna have to use two pretty early cards. So move six, see where we can get into a position. Yeah, let's see what, what happens here. Move six, one, two, three, four. What I could do is just back out. Well, there's one hound, two elite firmling scouts, and then a whole bunch back here. Let's see what they're doing. Just moving up and muddling. That's not terrible. Strengthening and muddling. We don't have to worry about that too much. And then they are going to attack after that. Um, so they will both be strengthened when they do come up for that attack. However, there's a trap right in front of them. So one of them is going to... this. This guy is going to be taking that trap damage. So I could have her just go right here. Let's see. She's going to move two. One, two. So we don't want to go too far. Let's go there, skip that movement, and then, ah, yeah, okay. Well, let's attack these two, I guess. I was kind of thinking that it would be nice to kill him, but he's just gonna come up and muddle, so. Confirm these, minus one, unfortunate. And a plus one. Not too terrible. The hound just has one health left. It's not bad, actually. It's kind of nice. And it's just muddling her. The berserker's turn is going to be... Oh, man. So we want to move, I guess right here, retaliate, it's not going to kill this one, but it might kill, or we'll see which um, order that they go in, one and Oh, sorry, 9 and 11. So this one will go up, take a, take the hit, and this one won't be able to do anything. Soothsayer. And 1, 2. And then confirm that action so they will strengthen again. 
this is basically what we're going to have to be doing um, in order to get rid of some of those curses. Those curses are going to be annoying. Okay. that one damage, they take three damage, and it's unfortunate that the uh, the Hound took that place, but oh well. So, now is actually a, kind of a good idea to use that uh, Thief's Knack and Quick Hand, so we can attack here and then move up and attack again, um, giving her two attacks. Just hoping that she can go earlier than than those. Um, now it would be nice to block an attack from all of these, right? So throw voice would be interesting, or singing arrow for the curses could be really cool too. Let's do bless, actually. We'll bless them both again. Hmm. Actually, let's go strengthen and singing arrow or, yeah, we'll go strengthen here and then, uh, tuning the outcome and we can start cursing I think that's going to be fine we want to go late with her relatively late so that uh, they're not attacking her let's go with cauterize so we can start hitting a couple of them and if it's a couple of these guys basically that would be wonderful um, I guess we'll try to go early. We'll take this for the early, a little bit of movement. If both of these die, that would be nice. And then we can use that uh, to start attacking out here, maybe. We'll see, kind of see what happens. So they're all just attacking. And they're between us the, the first two and the um, Sue Singer, which is kind of what I was looking for. So, first, let's attack here. Good, that one is dead. And then we'll move up, skip, and attack. There we go. Two down, not so bad. Not so bad at all. We'll end her turn. That was strengthened on both accounts. That was really nice. Um, we're going to move up one. We will skip and then we'll be able to push this one away, which is nice because then we can perform this with our normal strengthened attack. You're kidding me. It would have been nice if I pulled the uh, uh, one of the curses instead of that, but oh well. They're both now wounded, that's good. Oh, because they're strengthened, I forgot about that. Oh, you weren't strengthened. Uh. 
Yeah, so you can see not taking a whole lot of damage from these guys. Um, which is pretty good. Let's form that uh, strengthen everyone. Oh, right. I could do it the other way, too. I could strengthen them and curse one or bless them, and then he could take an attack on that. But I'm not too worried about that. So, yeah, we're going to do it the other way. Move over here. Skip the movement. Just curse one of these. Give them some of their own medicine, right? And then we will strengthen them by two bigger allies in the next round again. Oops. Oh man, okay. So we don't have to worry about that. And I think what I'm going to do is disarm and go really, really early here. Um, that way we can <clears throat> disarm this group. And I mean, if they're, maybe they're not even attacking, but let's do it anyway. And then we can, I guess, muddle that one, maybe move. I don't think so, but let's see if we can kill them first, right? I want to be, I guess we can go really late, can't we? Yeah, let's go with that. We'll walk up, and then we'll attack. As for you, we'll do something kind of similar. Um, being late, that is. We'll walk up, poison somebody, and then we can attack. All right. So they're just healing. Oh my goodness. OK, so they're just healing which is kind of a pain because they're going to be healing him up, aren't they? This this just got really annoying because we need to get rid of this guy before we can move out there and he's going too late for him to just die so we have to actually kill him this I, I haven't really figured out how this is useful I guess if there were a lot of uh, traps around them but it's not going to be useful now, so we could use this, but that's still not useful. So I guess, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to say about this. This has been, uh, I mean, we're just going to, we'll just do this because it will give us a point um, and just, you know, whatever. So her whole turn has been a waste. That's good to see, right? Are oh, you kidding me? Now they're just swarming me and healing each other right back up. guy please there we go times two yeah take that damage 
I'm gonna have you move out to here. Skip the rest of that movement and then attack here, please. Thank you. Plus one to kill it. End her turn. We can single out. We can attack any one of the, well, except for this one. I'd like to be attacking one of these, so let's attack here. Nice, there we go. We got rid of one of those curses and killed that. Um, problem here is that they're both behind us now. I'd like to be making some forward progress. Forward progress. So let's just move here, skip and poison. This way we can move through here if need be. I've blocked it in a way that they can't just block it now. Hmm. Um, which one do I want? Let's go late. And maybe what I can do is like loot all of this fun stuff and then uh, move away. Or I could move here. I feel like just, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what I can use here. They're going to be cursing again, so we need to take care of this. Uh, as soon as possible. So I could just attack her. The other thing I'm doing here is attack with a wound. And then I could maybe move somebody else away, or I can curse them and move away. Um, let's see. Let's pull this one here. And then we'll kill this one, and that one will be a better target for her, for the uh, Soothsinger. Oh. This is the kind of stuff that annoys me. I know I haven't pulled many of them, but... There. So that one is dead. And now I'll just punch here. Yep. Uh... I mean, it would have been better if I could take some of this stuff, but here, undo. I'm going to just do it. We're going to loot what we can here. Six gold, so those three stacks. It's not bad. And then we're going to move on top of that one. And then we can actually move in the next round, basically. So that one's dead. This one's unfortunately... Hey. Was cursed while attacking this. Um, you're gonna take a long rest. I think you just take the short rest. That's uh, whatever. We're going to attack. use this one for the attack whoops we'll attack with this and then we can run away with that actually we'll use this one as the uh, runaway kind of card so we can use that one later and 
Let's short rest with her because we just need to move. That's basically it. Uh, we'll use marching beat. And... Heck, let's use a uh, call to action so that we're ready going in for the next round. Yep. Okay. Come on. Dead. Super. And then one, two, three, four, five. Well, we can just move a little bit past that door. That's fine. And one, two, three, four. It's unfortunate that we're leaving a little bit of money here, but it's not that much anyway, so. Ah, the strength is going to go away on her next turn. Well, okay. Heal. And... This one might be the one that I go for. Yeah, we're going to drop... From the brink, I'm not going to need this healing anymore. It's just one tiny little room, so we'll be fine. Okay. I'm up to the last rounds. Tiny room. Let's go in with a cauterize to start wounding them and. Where's that move for? I guess this one. I'd like to be using that top one, but um, I haven't had that opportunity. One, two, three, four, then cauterize. Good. We'll go with a 29. Um, let's go in with this and just start piling in a whole bunch of curses on them. And then 29. So let's go in with the 33 with a poison would be nice and then throwing knives we can make some good attacks with that while being strengthened all right so move on in what are they gonna do move and immobilize well if we move away I think it's best if we just stand right in the front there. That one is going to be poisoning too. And that's going to be healing. Okay. <laughs> Again. Um, so let's let's have you stand here instead. And then we will... Let's attack her. And... That. That's fine. At least she's wounded now, and plus two. Well, that's pretty good. And it's wounded, so it's going to die immediately. That's fantastic. Let's roll on in here. There's no... Some There's some money piles laying around, but that's fine. Get into this guy's face, poison him. I'm going to be disadvantaged, but since I am at advantage, I'm just going to take what we get and attack. Okay, minus one, that's... There we go. That's a good hit right there. It's unfortunate because this is going to all go away. Oh, thank you towards us. Not bad. So, let's go on in here. The curse. And curse. They're not clumped together anymore. That's too bad. But a couple curses in their deck is going to be helpful. Let's use that top action now, where X is the difference between your maximum hit point value and current hit point value is five. Or we could go for Blood Pact.
Hmm. Yeah, let's go with Blood Pact. We'll take both of these and I'll just see. I'll just see what happens. Um, we'll go early. And let's also go early. We can take that one. Nah, let's go with this pairing again. That one was pretty cool. Let's do that. All right, and that selection. Just gonna be running around looting, and this one's going to perform a, an attack. So let's do that, and we'll muddle them as well. Metal disarm. Uh, none of that's really going to happen, but she got a couple points out of that. Let's see if I can actually kill her now. Yeah, I can. Sweet. Uh, we'll take that three damage, sure. And then let's move up and stand there, skip movement, confirm action. Sure, sure, sure. I think she'll be able to kill him this round anyway. Um, maybe. Let's see. Move up. Skip. Attack. Nope. But we should be able to do it here. There we go. It's not bad. We are missing some money here, but that's fine. Some four and eight. Uh, four and two, sorry. <laughs> that makes six, not eight. Um, some more money back in there too, but we did finally prove to myself that they work together quite well as a team. They, there are some times when uh, if health is an issue there's uh, for any of them that it's going to be difficult to get that back. Um, both, uh, well the scoundrel doesn't have much for, or doesn't have anything to heal anybody else. She only has that one card to heal herself. And both of these two, I want to say actually that uh, only the Berserker has some healing cards. I don't think I've seen anything for the Soothsinger yet. Um, I know they're there. Maybe some of the X cards. Uh, we'll have to take a look at that. But as the last enemy falls, the pressure in the air immediately abates. The light returns to normal. And the insects of the forest start up again. Your work here is done. Let's see how that ended. Scoundrel with the most, that's typical. Uh, Sue Singer with the least, that's typical. Um, a lot of damage taken, almost killing her twice. But some of that was from ourselves, our choices. Uh, we did make a fair amount of money. And quite a bit of experience as you can see that Sue Singer just soaks in experience every round um, we did unlock three new things here uh, three new quests we've reached low town um, we now have the muddle enhancement and we've killed 20 vermling scouts so that'll be some extra money too Okay, so rewards 4 XP each, hook chain design, and unlocked low town. Low town isn't exactly the height of sophistication, I'm afraid. Couldn't find anything to add to the shop's inventory. I don't know what you mean. These hook chains could be great in a fight. Use them to drag your enemies within melee range, then thwack. They were just holding some crates of potatoes together. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So, because this is a bonus episode, um, I'm putting this out, uh, I believe, Monday night. Um, we'll be having another one Tuesday morning as well. So, uh, because this is a bonus episode, I'm just going to go through the things that have been unlocked here. 
And um, so when we start, uh, I guess, tomorrow morning, then we can uh, unlock the, or jump right into play immediately. So uh, we've reached Low Town. Let's claim that reward. This is pretty simple. Just unlock chapter 2.1. The chapters in this is kind of messed up. I don't really like the way the chapters work. Um, I feel like we should reach the end of a chapter before going to another chapter. And there should be a boss fight at the end of that chapter. But alas, that's not how it works. Uh, we also have another enhancement slot. So the Enchantress. After looking in more detail around the area around Low Town, we have seen we have found some strange crystals piled up in the forest. They emit an incredibly strong aura of earth magic and look to have been the cause of the weird behavior of the Vermlings as well as the enhanced magical power in the area. We're getting reports of similar magical deviations around the town of Fording Bridge to the south. Interesting. Uh, let's claim Muddle. Now we can use Muddle for the uh, enhancement. Which I don't tend to buy, but it's actually kind of nice. Um, especially on an AoE attack, it can, be, it can be pretty good. But I tend to just wait a little bit longer, get a little bit more money, and use something like Poison or Wound instead, so... Yeah, I don't know how I how I feel about um, uh, muddle as an enhancement. It is the cheapest, so it's not that bad. Okay, twenty vermling scouts, five more bucks. Continue. All right, so that is it. We are ending here with one hundred and forty-three gold. Uh, we've leveled up the Berserker, the Scout, or we haven't leveled them up, sorry. We've gained quite a, nearly half for each of them uh, to the second level. So they're, we're making some good progress. Now, of course, they did start with six or seven XP because of my failed attempt. Um, typically, I will show those failed attempts, but that one just didn't feel like a, a very fun video to watch. Um, so... Uh, I think you'll be happier without it and watching this one instead. So, Anyway, uh, starting, uh, we'll go back to our original uh, Tuesday, Thursday schedule this week. And uh, from time to time, maybe I'll throw in a bonus and it will, it will kind of follow these guys along on their uh, trail. Maybe I'll do some mixing if, if I feel like that's necessary. Uh, but for now, I'll leave these three together um, and see how they do. So with that, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you the next time.